Hi everyone, it's Spirit Guide. How are you doing? So, this is actually take two of this video because <laughs> I'd forgotten a few components that I needed. So anyway, so how's everybody doing? This is not the end of the week for me. This is the middle of the week. So, it's always a bit stressful. Um, the weather's nice. It's a little muggy, <laughs> um, so, you know, but other than that, it's okay. So basically, um, this is the end of my cleanse, and I'm just showing you, like, examples of what I use for my cleanse. So if you want to see a full cleanse, meaning what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, activities that I do, everything... Drop that in the comment section, okay? Just uh, say entire cleanse or drop an emoji of water or something, <laughs> you know. Um, not the three water drops, <laughs> you know, but just drop uh, maybe a faucet or something. I don't know. Something to represent the word cleanse, okay? All right, and then I will, I will film that series. And it'll be a series, and it'll be a series of about seven videos, and it'll show you exactly how I incorporate the very few items that I show you into an actual cleanse in case you want to do it yourself. Um, so basically, these are just examples of what I do, okay? So week one was just an apple. It was um, minimum eight ounces of water an hour, um, which is not really that much, but it was the consistency of it. When I do my cleanse, it's 16 to 24 ounces an hour. Okay, so there's a lot of liquid elimination, right? Or a lot of urine coming out. Um, then I would eat two apples an hour. That's the roughage. Roughage will come out as well, okay? So that's how I cleanse. Everything I show you is what I'm eating, but I'm eating it at a higher level, okay? Because I'm doing a very intense cleanse. And a lot of times I cleanse with the seasons, once the seasons change, my cleanse starts. So it's not every month. I do not recommend this. I'm not a doctor. Um, so consult your doctor. But um, for me, I do not do this every month. This would drive me crazy because it's very hard on my body. Very hard. And for me, once every three to four months is fine. You know, just to kind of kick off the new season. Like, I will not do this again. Um, I don't cleanse in the winter because it's winter and we're storing fat, right? So we're supposed to have a nice, healthy layer of fat for the winter, okay? So at least I like to have a nice, healthy layer of fat for the winter. So um, I do not cleanse in the winter, but I do cleanse very hard in the spring, okay? Okay. Um, just to get my body regulated again, and then I cleanse again for the summer. But my summer cleanse, um, you'll see it, it's, it's more, it's cute. You know, it's like frozen watermelon drinks, and you know, I really get creative with my summer cleanse because I'm just celebrating the solstice, right? Celebrating the summer. Okay, so in front of me, I just have a representative of what I put back into my diet in my week three, okay? So the first thing up is a peach. Hi, we're just gonna pick up. It 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 froze again. <laughs> so and yes, this video is edited. I don't know how I could do this unedited. Um, but on the channel, I just want to remind you. Um, on the channel, the readings are unedited. Okay, so all my readings. Um, be it the pick a pile, be it the tarot, be it the oracle, they're all unedited, and that's gonna stay that way. Um, because I'm giving you the, you the experience if you went to an actual reader. They don't stop, edit. No, it just keeps going straight, okay? And you get to see the process. And I'm looking at the views. They're going up. So I know that you're getting used to just the one-shot read, um, which I know is different for you too because I know a lot of readers, and they do a beautiful job. Um, they do edits, and their edits, their their final product is gorgeous, you know? But for me, I just rather do it one shot, okay? All right, so back to our cleanse. So, um, so this is a peach, right? Giant peach, look at that. Like James and the giant peach. <laughs> um, and this is an Eastern, 
yellow peach oh no this is just a yellow peach okay some of them are eastern peaches i love those those have like a sour taste to them so i like those so i eat a peach i replace the apple with the peach i don't eat them together even though i think they would taste really good in a pie together but <laughs> i just eat the peach by itself so with the peach i eat about three of these a day okay that again i'm introducing the sweetness and a little bit of sourness to me and I'm also introducing, because it's a hard skin, the roughage, right? So the apple has a hard skin, but inside is a little soft. This is very hard, okay? As you can, this is hard, all right? And I put mine in the refrigerator. Um, I don't leave it out because it goes bad quickly if you leave it out. I leave mine in the refrigerator, and then when I want to eat it, so like at night, I'm a big preparer, right? So when I get home from work or, you know, going to work, I know when I get home, I want to have a peach because it's, it's satisfying, it's juicy, I love them. So I take it out before I go to work and I leave it out so it can get room temperature, okay? That can be tricky when you have a dog and a cat because the cat, you know, between the two of them, some I've had come home and peaches are on the floor, okay? And of course, there are teeth marks in them, so whatever. But I've gotten a new system where I just put them in a basket and, and leave them um, kind of like on top of um, the microwave and nobody can get to them so far so I don't know but anyway so it's a peach I leave it at room temperature and I eat it you can make a peach shake because um, milk is up here you see it I have not had milk um, in two weeks so milk is up here I'm introducing different things to my body you can make a peach shake you can make a peach pie <laughs> um, my favorite is peaches room temperature with some granola on top. I love that. Um, and some honey, right? That's a nice little snack right there. Um, you could do anything. You could just eat the peach straight from the source, just like it, this, okay? Um, we all know who's in the background. I'm sure you heard her, community dog. Okay, and thank you for watching her video. I put her video up. It's called, um, I'm going to link it to this video. It's called Just the Dog Shopping to make you smile. And you know, it's only a minute and 53 seconds, but it's getting some views, it's getting some traction, and I'm very happy about that. That's her debut. So when I keep saying community dog, you can watch her video, that's her. Okay, so um, the next thing I do is call Quaker Instant Oatmeal Honey and Almonds, right? This is my favorite, okay? This is my favorite. Um, I do all the different flavors, strawberry or whatever, but this one, I love it. I can only buy like seven of them because if I buy any more, I will sit here and eat this. And I'm the kind of person that will eat this um, honey and almonds oatmeal. No one is sponsoring this video. <laughs> um, the honey and almond oatmeal. I will eat this while I'm watching TV. And I know people are like, ew, oatmeal, I don't like it. Yeah, but when you're cleansing and you're coming off a cleanse, the idea is during a cleanse, your body was in starvation mode. That's the idea. So it was in starvation mode, it was in cleansing mode, it was in almost, not survival, but it wasn't getting an abundance of, of food. So what was happening is your body, anything it put in it, it would store it, right? And you wanted that to happen. So that's why when we introduced, or when I introduced certain foods that I was eating, those are good storage foods. I want my body to cling on to apple. I want it to cling on to banana. I want it to cling on to water. I want it to cling on to no sugar, right? Because I removed sugar completely from my diet when I was cleansing. So I want it to cling on to that. So therefore, whatever activity I'm doing, it is going to burn and it is going to accept back what I'm putting in. So you do lose some weight on this cleanse. <clears throat> You're not gonna lose 25 pounds. But the idea is your skin quality becomes better, right? So I don't know if you can see it, but over the videos, my actual quality of my skin tone color has become much richer, much darker, right? No, I haven't been outside a whole lot, but it's just the, the quality. I can see it when I'm watching it. Like my skin will have more of a shine to it because I'm cleansing, right? And I, I love that shiny of my skin. So anyway, so that's how I eat the oatmeal um I start off every morning with oatmeal um or whatever morning is to me whenever I you know finished working and I come home um I do have this sometimes at night I'll eat this 
instead of dinner, you know, because this is a complete meal. Um, this is, of course, it's heart healthy, but this is whole grain oats. Sugar is in it, so you're reintroducing sugar. You're reintroducing sugar here, I forgot to mention, at a higher rate. So peaches have more sugar than apples do. Um, roasted almonds, chicory root extract, whey protein, isolate, salt, natural mineral, mineral, natural flavor, honey, soy, and lectin. Okay, so you're introducing a whole host of products that you actually need to help keep everything together. Um, excuse the banging, please. Um, the people uh, that were upstairs moved out and then they're pre preparing the apartment for the people that are moving in. So if it gets too loud, um, I will just adjust my volume. Um, and if it's too, like we can't deal with it, then I'll have to do the video a different time. Okay, so that's what I do. This is in the morning. This this is also when I'm just sitting around and I, and I want a snack. And I don't necessarily, if I'm cleansing, I'm not gonna eat potato chips. So I'll get this, I'll get the crunch and it's also filling. You eat this, you're not gonna wanna eat the, anything else. <laughs> then when I get in week three only, then when I get the urge to have something sweet and I'm introducing myself to salt, introducing sugar back into my diet because I'm at the end of my cleanse, I do portion control, okay? This is what it looks like. It's called Snack Genius. I actually got this at Big Lots, okay? And it's like $7 and there's like 30 of them in a pack. And it is, if you can see, it's honey roasted nuts. There's toffee in here. Um, there's macadamia, I believe, in here. There's all kinds of nuts in here. It's really good, okay? And it's portion control. So once you're done with this, you're done. That's it, you're done. Okay, and, and clearly nuts are a big theme here. Um, nuts are really good when you're done with a cleanse because it introduces naturally to your body what you have taken away. And it does it in a very subtle way, okay? If you are allergic to nuts, um, you can substitute with anything else that you're not allergic to, okay? Um, I would say a lot of um, cabbage, cabbage does the same exact thing. If you see some of these diets that people go on, the number one ingredient, one and two ingredients is nuts, and cabbage, right? Because those two have the same amount of properties naturally that our body needs. And we as humans like it typically, right? So I, I love cabbage. You know, my favorite dish is corned beef and cabbage, okay? With maybe an egg on top if I'm really wanting to be, you know, uh, gluttonous and, and everything else, okay? All right, so the next thing is really the most important thing for me. And I'm actually going to have some <laughs> soon, um, is my probiotic, okay? It doesn't matter who makes it. Um, it's just a probiotic, okay? This is so important when you're finishing your cleanse because the probiotic is adjusting your gut health, okay? So when we went through everything and we took things out of our body, we took it out of our gut. And when you have a probiotic, it has active live cultures in it. So once you took it out, now this one drink, to be honest, this one drink can substitute all of this here. Okay, it can just take the place of it. But I add it to it so that I'm not shocking my body, I'm just reintroducing it little by little. But this, every single morning this week, I have one. It's very tasty, it's very good. I have noticed that my stomach actually has flattened. Of course, in the cleanse process, but with this, this has helped it out 100%, okay? So I recommend it 100%, okay? It's by Stonyfield. I forget who sold, where I bought this from. I don't remember. Um, I wanna say it was BJ's because I did a BJ's run. And, um, you know, BJ sells like a hundred things for a dollar, <laughs> you know, um, not quite that, but you understand what I'm saying. Um, and it, there's like, I had 20 and now I've got 10, you know, but you know, it's not just me drinking it, but still, you know, it, it's, it's really beneficial. Okay. All right. So then the next thing we have is of course my favorite friend and this, and I have to be honest, this Gatorade is... It's almost a, a hack for me 
because of my job and the hours I work, but mostly because of my job, I have to drink Gatorade Zero um, because I lose a lot of protein um, and a lot of sugar and I lose, like you can easily faint um, working at my job. So I have to do this, okay? But I do it also and I recommend it for a cleanse. Um, if you have an office job or you're sitting around and you're not burning a lot of energy, I would say drinking Gatorade, it's going to look trendy, but it's not going to physically be necessary. Um, this can actually turn into a lot of waste. Um, I know it's zero sugars added, right? So there's already sugar, but it's zero added. Um, it just... I remember when I had an office job and I would drink, you know, Gatorade Zero because you want to look like, oh, I'm fit or whatever. Um, what the Gatorade did for me, it made me extremely, extremely uncomfortable because I got bloated drinking Gatorade. And I didn't understand until I left that job and I went into my job path, which I believe is always a physical path. I always do, I excel at physical jobs. I really do. I always have excelled at physical jobs. Any job where I have to use like, you know, you have to be like a, a it's like mental Olympics, I call it. I, I'm not good at those jobs. Um, I'm not stupid, but I just don't, I don't care to spend my energy being mean to other humans mentally and also trying to guess another human's actions in order to be successful and that's not a dig at anybody that's just who i am you know so i'm a physical laborer so i've always been a physical laborer so in saying all of that when i did have the one year i had an office job um what happened was i was drinking gatorade because again that's what i did i worked in fields and stuff so you know, meaning like I worked in um, soccer camps and I was a coach and stuff like that. So I was used to Gatorade. But when I went to the office and I drank Gatorade, I noticed because I wasn't burning and I wasn't actively moving, I was uncomfortable. My stomach hurt. Gatorade made my stomach bloated and I had to always use the bathroom. I didn't like that. And I spoke to a friend of mine who was in my prior job and he was like, yeah, because you're not burning. He's a like, Gatorade's for burning. If you burn, athletes take Gatorade and they put it back, you know, because they got to put back what they've taken out. So uh, that was just a warning for anyone who has this and at work and, you know, you drink too many of them. Um, that may, it may happen to you. It may not happen to you. Okay. But for me now, I have to. So I buy these at BJ's in the case. Uh, there's about 20 of them in a case and I freeze them and I take it to work with me. And by the time... You know, I, I drink on it all day and it's already melting, you know, when I get it to work. And that's like the best treat ever. It's like a slushy. I love it. So, but I do Gatorade just to put back a lot of the nutrients that I've lost. And the hack is that um, I have done this even without a cleanse. So, you know, that's, that's it. But of course, Gatorade, there's your number one. Gatorade and the uh, probiotic, right? Feed back your gut, feed back your your immune system, your gut holds your immune system, the key to it. So you got to treat it right. And the Gatorade, and this one also has protein. That's a difference. Okay. It has protein in it. The other Gatorade, which I actually have in the kitchen, I'm thinking. <laughs> so this is the regular Gatorade everyone's used to. Um, this does have sugar in it, but it's good. still. we love it. This one is the one that I freeze. So I use it this way. This one here, I use, I freeze when I'm at work. But this one is like the treat, if that makes sense. Like when I'm eating my lunch, this is already unfrozen. So this is like a big icy for me. <laughs> it's like a treat, okay? This one I use when I'm on the floor working because this one is giving me back protein. You can lose a lot of protein in your sweat. And if that happens, that's when you start getting dizzy and wanting to pass out, okay? So this is the essential one for me. 
this is like the treat <laughs> because it has sugar in it. It's good. You want to drink it. It's a whole thing, right? But these are the two. Okay. So Gatorade is a family thing here. Um, I did bring another item, but I'll wait for that. Um, when I'm cooking now, as I'm on week three of my cleanse, I start to use the BJ size basil. Okay. This I'm introducing back into my diet. Um, I also introduced turmeric, um, because I think it's a really good, um, you know, uh, spice to eat with the basil. It just tastes really good. And if you put, um, turmeric in water or in chicken bouillon and kind of marinate it together, it almost tastes like curry. So it's, I love curry. So it's really good. So, but basil is the, the main ingredient, as you can tell, this is the BJ size one. Told y'all went to BJ's. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what um, I do. Then again, this is not a medical endorsement. It's just showing you what I do in week three of my cleanse. Okay. Then what I do is I introduce back into my body vitamin D. Okay. Partly because I don't um, go outside a whole lot. Like when I'm not working, I'm not outside. I'm either filming videos. I'm doing personal readings. I'm always doing something that includes inside, um, because I work so hard that I don't like to go outside and overexert myself. I exert myself when I get to work so that I can be the best person I can be. So D3 is what I take. Okay. And it's a high potency one. Okay. This is nature's truth. Okay. Again, nobody sponsored this. This is just things I use. Okay. And the last thing I decided to show you, cause I thought to myself when I was getting the Gatorade out, I was like, but wait a minute, you know, um, I didn't show them what I eat for lunch, like what the lunch consists of. Right. So it's this again, portion controls. I'm, if I'm eating a sandwich, I'm eating half a sandwich and then I'm eating my oatmeal. Okay. So it's never full at this point. This is only the third week. Okay. For me, it's the end. So bumblebee snack on the run. So it's basically, it's tuna. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So these are crackers. And I don't want to open the crackers because I'm not ready to eat them yet, but these are crackers. There's like six of them in here. And then Then it is chicken salad, right? It's a little can, everything. And then the little spoon. I love the spoon, okay? So all of this together is what makes up this packet, what makes this up, okay? And it's really good, and I like it because I can throw it in my book bag when I go to work. Throw it in my book bag. I don't have to worry about it spoiling. It's already done, okay? So lunch consists of... That plus my treat, and that's that's it. Um, maybe this, it might be this for lunch. Depends how I feel, okay? That's lunch. You can see, hopefully you can see a picture of it. This is lunch, right? This, the peach. Well, actually, let me clear it off. Okay. The peach and the probiotic is breakfast. Okay, that's my breakfast. Um, it can be this too, if I feel like it. But usually for me, when I wake up in the morning, community dog, when, <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, it's just my probiotic and a peach. That's really all I have. Okay. And then snack, believe it or not, is this, right? It's my oatmeal. This is when I'm watching TV or if I'm just, you know, you want a snack to eat really quickly, put some water in it, microwave it, and up, oh, there you go. Okay, that's my snack or it could be dinner, depending on how I feel that night, okay? And when I work, that's work, okay? This is work, all right? All right. And also, you know, my vitamin D, but that's just a supplement. Um, vitamin D and the basil. That's just a supplement, you know, cooking and living basically. Okay. 
All right, everybody. So I hope this uh, video was not too long and I hope you have a better inkling, a better idea of what I eat, okay, during my cleanse. And now I got to fix my table. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I see the numbers are going up. I'm so, so, so excited and I'm blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you like it and drop in a comment section if you do want to see a complete day of cleanse for me. Week one, two, and three, I'll do one day per cleanse per week. And to show you what I eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the activities I do for breakfast were early morning, midday, and afternoon, and evening. Well, evening activities, you know, it, it varies. So um, I'll just show you morning and afternoon. And um, what I do, how much time I spend walking and things like that. So you can better judge how to tailor, tailor your cleanse. Okay, thank you for bearing with me with the knocking and the banging. Again, they are working on an apartment people just moved out of, okay? All right, thank you so much. Enjoy. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.